Okay guys, so um, we're just going to pick up from where we left off with the first video. I, as you notice, I added some boxes here to the gist. Um, only just so that I can kind of type in or write in better. So um, if it kind of messes up for you while you're doing your gist, don't even worry about it. Just kind of just keep going on. So in the second stanza, it says, yes, he's jammed inside my locker with his bully face so red. Though this could have been a nightmare, it's a perfect day instead. So basically the bully, um, the speaker is happy that the bully is in the locker, right? I know I will be, right? So let's go ahead and write that. The speaker is happy that the bully is stuck in the locker, okay? And I'm just going to bold that just so you guys can see okay and then it says he came to me to bully it's the bully thing to do but sadly for this bully he forgot to tie his shoe so that's really easy the bully forgot to tie his shoe and so basically we're just going through and we are doing our who what and where for our gist for each stanza you guys remember that the who what and where okay so that's what we're doing at this point. If you um, if you are watching this video before you watch the first video, you need to stop and like go back to the first video because this wouldn't make sense to you. Okay, so make sure you watch part one first before you're watching part two. Okay, so stanza four, he came up far too quickly. First he grunted, then he tripped. He fell against my locker and his bully pants were ripped. So he tripped, the bully tripped on his shoe. Shoelaces, I guess, since his shoes wasn't tied. And ripped his pants. Okay. Then it says, a thousand kids with quarters see the bully for a fee, a bully's in my locker, and it's working for me. So basically, the speaker is charging people to watch this bully go down, right? So the speaker is, is charging people. It's charging a fee to see the bully embarrassed. Because at this point, or to see the bully in the locker right okay okay good so now we wrote a gist for each um of our stanzas and then i'm actually going to go back and continue um writing continue labeling um my little lines because i don't want you guys to think that that's how it's supposed to look so let's go back and finish uh, labeling our lines, okay? Because on your exit ticket, you're going to have to um, answer a question. That was 13. This is 14, okay? And then we have 15. I know it looks a little raggedy. And then we have 16. And then we have 17, 18. 10 and 20. So we got 20 lines. Five stanzas and 20 lines. Okay, good. So now we need to ask ourselves, what is this poem mostly about, right? So when I know that the question is asking me what is it mostly about, it's asking me for the main idea. So what is the main idea of this poem? What is this poem mostly about? So I could basically go back and I could look at my gist and I'm literally going to, um, I erase the lines because it's going to be really hard for you to write, uh, to type um, on the lines. So I basically erase that, okay? So when I go back and look at each one of my gist, I'm pretty much going to find the repeating ideas, right? So what are the repeating ideas that we see? where we can pretty much find the main idea of this poem, right? What is this poem mostly about? I'm going to go back and look at my little pen and let's look. So I see that the bully is repeating over and over. I see the bully. I see the bully. 
I see the bully, the bully, right? The bully that repeats in each stanza. So I know that that must be a part of what my poem is mostly about, right? Another thing that I receive, I see repeating over and over is locker. Like locker is pretty much almost in every stanza, right? Okay, good. And then another thing that I see repeating is the speaker, right? The speaker is pretty important because um, he's important to the, to the poem, right? He's the one that's getting bullied and he's happy that the bully is stuck in the locker. Let's see, what else do I see that's pretty much? So I also see stuck that's repeating a lot. Um, okay, and nothing else pretty much repeats i see you know shoe and shoelaces but that doesn't like pretty much tell me anything so when i look at the repeating ideas i basically um know that the poem must be about the speaker um the bully being stuck inside of the speaker's locker right and he's pretty happy about it so let's go ahead and write that but i'm gonna write it in a complete sentence by saying this poem is mostly about the speaker or mostly about a bully being stuck inside of the speaker's locker okay good so we're pretty much just reviewing the poetry element. So we picked out the po every poetry element. I got my stanza, I have my lines, I have my rhyming, I have my repetition. And then in order to find the main idea, guys, you have to have to look for the repeating ideas. So you have to be able to write a gist for each of your stanzas. That's the only way you're gonna understand the poem, okay? So now that we did the model, now let's go ahead and practice together. Now, I know we don't have our partners here with each other, but you can practice with somebody in your home. If you have like a big brother or a big sister or your mom or dad, you can practice with them and to see um, what they know and what you know. Okay, that'd be like a really fun thing. So let's go ahead and do it together. So what are we going to do? What's the first thing we do? Come on, y'all. I need some help. What's the first thing we do? Yes, thank you. We label the poetry elements. Good. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to, let's pick a different color this time because um, like I have this little fancy color, but I want to do, let's do a pink glitter. Okay. So let's go ahead. I only see one stanza. Okay. So I'm going to write stanza one. Good. What else do I see? Let's go ahead and label our lines, right? Four, that was a little messy. Five and six, okay? Now, um, let's go ahead and read the poem. Life is like a baseball game. Every pitch is not the same. Okay, game and same rhyme. I'm going to underline that. You get several chances at a hit, but pay attention because if you miss, the game could be over quick, quick, quick. So hit and quick, mm, I don't know if hit and quick rhyme. So I don't know if anything else rhymes. Let's go ahead and, and go back. Let's hit the back button because I don't think hit rhymes with that. So um game and same we know rhymes nothing else in the poem pretty much rhymes but i'm going to underline quick twice quick 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 because we have repetition here all right good so let's go ahead and write a gist what is this poem talking about so i know um i'm gonna go ahead and put in like a little box so that i can write in it here okay so this poem is, I know this poem is talking about a baseball game. Okay, so we see baseball game, but it also says life is like. Hmm. So in my mind, they're talking about like your everyday life. They're comparing life to a baseball game. It says every pitch is not the same. You get several chances at a hit, but pay attention because if you miss, the game could be over quick, quick, quick. Okay, so I know that this stanza is comparing life to a base ball game. 
Okay. It talks, what else does it talk? It talks about how you get several chances. So in my mind, it based, I'm thinking like, okay, you get several chances to, um, to do right in life, right? So you get several, which this is right, guys, because, you know, we all make mistakes, but you get second chances and third chances and fourth chances, right? So you get chances to make it right. But they're also saying that if you don't pay attention, life could be over, right? So you have to make sure that you're paying attention to what you're doing so that you're not making the same mistakes over and over again. But if you don't slow down, life could be over. That's a little sad, but ooh, Jesus. Okay, so um, what is this poem mostly about? So guys, I don't have like um, several stanzas. So in this case, I'm not going to pick out any repeating ideas because like it's only one stanza, right? So everything is pretty much the same. So what is this poem mostly about? I can pretty much just use kind of what I said in the gist. This poem is mostly about the speaker comparing life to a baseball game. Okay, short and simple. All right, excellent. So guys, we did everything in our packet. Now it's time for the independent practice. This is a time where you can show your work, okay? So at this time, you can either pause the play button um, and do your independent practice and have like your parents check it or you can go back and check to make sure that you've done it right. Or you could just keep on rolling and you can do your independent practice and then your exit ticket. So after you complete your independent practice, I want to go ahead and show you how to get to your exit ticket. So you're going to go out of your classwork. You're going to go to, um, you're going to go to, sorry about that, where um, you are lost into your work, okay? So right now, I am in KU's page. So as you can see, you're going to click on this. This is where you have your daily announcements, right? You're not going to click on announcements. You're going to click on classwork. Now, your exit ticket is already in here. You're going to hit on your exit ticket. And then there's going to be a link, right? When you hit this link, it's going to come up like this. This will be your exit ticket. You have to read the poem. Now, it says mark up the poem, right? There's no way for you to mark up the poem on the exit ticket. So you're pretty much just going to mark it up in your head or you can use a separate sheet of paper, okay? You're going to read the poem, mark it up in your head, and then there are several questions um, on the poem and the poetry elements. The last question is a short answer question. It asks you what is this poem mostly about, and you have to write two full sentences about the main idea, okay? Then after you're done, you're gonna click the submit button. If you do not click this submit button, guys, you will not get your answer counted. So you have to make sure that you're clicking this submit button and then I'm going to get your answers and you should be able to know right away whether you got a 100% or not, okay? All right, good. So I am so, so, so happy that we were able to have our first, first, um, full day of learning with Miss Simmons. If you have any questions, you can meet me in the Google Hangouts. You can call, you can text, whatever you need to do, and I'll be available. All right, guys, love you so much. See you tomorrow.